We got a new ban list today, and I think it's a good one. Union Carrier is banned. This ban will hit Dry Tron Herald, Adamancipator, some of the Valance Cyberstein combo and some of the Buster Lock combo deck as well. Actually the saddest one, is ABC. The deck itself is already a brickfest, with pot cards getting limited, they just unlimit ABC Dragon but they ban Union Carrier. I guess the deck gonna stay dead. Totally Awesome is also banned. This one will hit some of water-based deck, like Water Exist, Fish and Shark Exist, and also Marincess even though they are rarely summon it, but they did have a combo that also ended with Totally on the field. Conquistador, from limit 1 to limit 2. I guess this could revive Eldlich a bit, and some zombie deck that use Eldlich engine as well. Infernity Launcher, from limit 1 to limit 2. Infernity is a synchro deck that most of their card starters and engines have a requirement to have no cards in your hand or you can say empty-handed. Seems like Konami try to revive some other synchro deck in this game. Dimension Shifter. From 3 limited to 2. Decks that mostly use this are Fluundries, Weather Painter, and Mutant that are recently got new support card. I always love some hit to hand traps especially those that are floodgating in natures, some people might disagree with me. But this could be a bad hit, since Tierlament is coming and this is one of the best hand trap to counter them. There can be only one, from 3 limited to 2, some small hit to runic floodgate, but it won't stop them from playing more floodgate. Grass, from 3 limited to 2, well, this will hit all 60 cards deck zombies, Adamancipator, Dragonlink, Shadow, and Thunder Dragon. That's why I never want to build another 60 card deck anymore in my channel, it's expensive and I'm sure they will be get hit by ban list, but I never thought they go this far. This could be a means they try to balance the game before Tierlament arrive, if you don't know Tierlament, 4 months ago in TCG, it becomes the tier 0 deck in most tournaments, because most of their cards wanted to be in the graveyard same like zombies, because their graveyard effect are deadly, and if you able to mill almost half your deck with grass, they could just win the game in that turn. Cursed Eldland, Unlimited, I think they started realize that Eldlich is not the problem, but the floodgate trap card is, so seems like they trying to hurt the floodgates little by little, I guess I'm building another Eldlich deck. Gazelle, Unlimited, Salaman Great is one of the best newbie friendly deck, they can just spend free 1500 gems on burning spirit structure deck, and get most of the Salaman Great needed cards in their deck, it's playable and can keep up with most of top tier deck, good one Konami. Double Iris, Unlimited, it's gonna be really good since Pendulum Magician is getting so much support this past month, Pendulum players will love this. Jackalope, Unlimited, it's one of the best plus one effect card that usually used to pump up the consistency of some non-linear deck, Tierlament is one of them. Scapegoat, Unlimited, Nobody Cares. Memories of Hope, Unlimited, so far the only deck that use this is Numeran OTK. I guess some consistency booster for them. Pancratops, Unlimited, it's acceptable. This card can be used in any deck mostly by going second deck, some Sky Striker deck use it too, but mostly they are fine with just a one or two of in the deck. And that's all for the upcoming ban list in Master Duel, in my opinion, I think is decent ban list, but they are not hitting those top tier deck hard like branded Despia, Sword Soul, and Runic. This might just be a balancing state for the upcoming new cards, possibly Tierlament and Sprite. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe like and share it. Bye bye.